Hi, pastoral intern Steph here with a word from the Heart of Hope. So this morning I knew that I needed to film a devotion and I was really not feeling like getting ready or putting on makeup or even really doing my hair. I was barely ready to get out of bed this morning, <laughs> but I knew I needed to do this. Um, so I started to think, well, what if I did do this devotion without putting on makeup or doing my hair or whatever? I mean, come as you are, right? That was my thought, really. And then I started to think, is that, is that what the Bible says? Is that really what Jesus says? Does he say, come as you are? And not exactly. Those words, come as you are, are never in the Bible. But the thought process is a little bit there. So he does say, come weary, come burdened, come brokenhearted. And you could say, come as you are from there, right? Because you should also come joyful and grateful and uh, cel with celebration. So come as you are, right? But also, uh, and also like on that same thought, Jesus came for us when we were still sinners, not after we're saved. So still you would think, come as you are. But Jesus never said, come the way you are, and then leave the same. So you can't come in to a relationship with Jesus and then have something going on in your life that wouldn't be pleasing to him and then expect to continue doing that. I mean, you could, but Jesus doesn't want that. He wants you to come to him, but then also be willing to change and be transformed so that you don't leave the same. It's like the woman caught in adultery. He forgave her. He, he did say, look, the rest of these guys are sinners too. But he also said, go and sin no more. So come as you are, but be willing to leave different than you came when you're in a relationship with Jesus. That what was was what uh, was put on my heart today. So I hope it was encouraging, and I hope you have a wonderful week.